Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial. This one will cover how to uh, quickly rig and animate a character in Illustrator or Photoshop um, and, and animate it in After Effects. There's two ways I'm going to do it. Um, there's this way where I have uh, everything nulled to each other and another way is the puppet tool which is up here we'll get to it um, okay so let's dive right in uh, this is what w this is what it will look like just a guy walking head bobbing and all that just something really quick um, and simple so let's go to illustrator um, I'll give you guys the link of this to this file. You you can make you can make whatever you want. This is just a quick guy. So these are all my layers over here. Um, we got the the head. We got the the right arm. We got the chest. We got the left arm. We got the right le <coughs> right leg um, and the left leg. Um, the reason why they all need to be on separate layers is so. Uh, what it when you bring it into After Effects, it brings it in these layers. So if you have a bunch of sub layers like this, they won't come in like that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and save it because I renamed uh, renamed something real quick. I'm gonna save it as Rig. Say so, yep, yep, and minimize this. Go back into After Effects and. Uh, we're gonna get rid of. We're gonna make a new composition. New composition. I'm gonna right-click over here. Go to Import File, Rig. AI. Say yes. Make sure it's a, it's originally gonna be set on footage. Make sure you go to composition. That way it brings in the files, uh, the 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 layers. If it was on footage, it won't bring in the layers. Hit OK. So open up Rig. And there's the dude. Uh, nothing's animated, of course, because this is the straight out of uh, Illustrator file. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move the pivot points to specific locations. Um, so if you go up here, this is this is how you move the anchor points, or I call them pivot points. Um, but another th one thing first, we're going to make a knoll put that on top over. Oh, Right, uh, press enter to rename it and let's call it um, main null. And control A and then hit alt or control uh, alt is Mac. Uh, control to highlight all these and then we're going to squiggly tool it which is the parent tool uh, to the main null. So anything uh, I'm going to press uh, V to activate the move tool. Um, anything connected to this null, he will be, uh, it will be moving with it. So we're gonna press P for position. We're just gonna make some quick keyframes. One here. We're gonna go. Uh, we're going to go. First of all, let's go to composition, composition settings, which is Control K. Right now I have mine at 31 minutes. We're not gonna want that. So let's make it. Uh, let's make it two seconds long. So this is two seconds long. So at the end of the two seconds, we're gonna move him to here. Look at that animation. That is some flawless animation. Um, all right. So what we're gonna do now is move the pivot points. We're gonna move the pivot point of the head down by the neck gonna put the right arm up by the shoulder same with the left arm uh, this is the solo uh, solo key which uh, button which it gets rid of all of them it only shows this you just click it back and forth um, so we're gonna go up to the shoulder we're gonna go to the right leg which is this one up to the uh, shirt crease left leg up to the shirt Crease. And now we're going to parent a few things. We're going to leave the, the legs. We're going to 
get the the arms. So press hold down control. Um, click and drag the uh, parent tool onto the chest. So we're gonna press V. Um, so whatever is attached to this chest will move around. Same with the head. The head will go atta uh, attached to the chest. So the legs are all, they're, they're, the legs are on their own thing. But the uh, parent tool, uh, but the uh, the main knoll is still moving. Uh, well, they'll still be attached to the main knoll. So we're gonna control Z. All right, I'm gonna save it real quick. Uh, I saved it as rig uh, tutorial. Um, so we're gonna highlight the legs. Press R for uh, to uh, to go into the rotation. We're just gonna make him swing uh, left and right. We're gonna make some keyframes, and then let's go to uh, t 20 keyframes in, and we're gonna go the opposite. So we're gonna swing it this way, and then we're gonna swing it that way, and then let's go 10 frames. We're gonna copy paste, copy paste. Look at that flawless animation. Um, another one copy paste copy paste we're gonna we're going to move the uh, uh, the work area uh, uh, thing and right click and trim the work area that way it stops at that specific point so look at that so one thing you notice that they're linear um, they're going they're going up down down. There's no easing in or easing out. So there's a quick way you can do it. Highlight all the keyframes. Go to keyframe assistance. Go, then go to easy ease. So it goes. So it goes up and it's, uh, I'm pressing um, the zero key in the uh, the num numpad. By the way, to RAM preview real quick. So the, it's easing in and out and in and out and in and out. So the next thing we're gonna do are the arms. So we're gonna highlight those arms and press R, uh, make some keyframes real quick. So your arms will always swing opposite from the, your legs. So his leg is sw swinging to the left, his arms are going to swing to the right. So, and um, vice versa. So we're going to copy some frames, copy paste, copy paste. Uh, sorry, not going to do that yet. We're going to move them, and then we're going to move this back to here. Now we're gonna copy paste and copy paste uh, these frames, and then we're gonna copy paste, copy paste. Let's make these all easing, easy eases. And look at that! Look at that flawless animation. Um, so next we we are going to <coughs> make two keyframes: the position and the rotation, and then we're gonna press U to see all of the keyframes and we're going to uh, we're going to make a f two more keyframes over here let's see when he's when he comes in like this this is when he would be in the settled position I guess you could say and then when he comes out he would his his uh, upper body will go up and and uh, no, just hold on. I I forgot to move the pivot point of the pivot point of the chest needs to be down by the shirt. That way you can swing them around like this. So we're gonna make two keyframes again. Let's start over. Okay. And now we're gonna go up, and in the middle we're gonna go down. I'm just pressing shift and up, shift down. In the middle, we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead and copy this, paste it here. Uh, right, up. This one needs to be up. Okay, there we go. Copy paste. Boom. 
These aren't easy, easy eased at all for some reason. All right, so up and down, up and down. So he's going up. So he's going up and down and up and down and up and down. So we we're also going to delay it. Um, I'll show you later. Um, so when he goes up, we might want to turn it two degree negative two degrees, and then when he goes down. We want to turn it two degrees this way, so he's going. He's he's rotating and he's um, moving up and down. Let's go ahead and make these easy eases, so I don't have to deal with it again. Copy paste, copy paste. So now he's going up and down and up and down and up and down. So now what we're going to do is we're going to delay everything. So we're going to take all these keyframes and move it this way. So when he's going. When he's going down, now let's still delay it some more. There we go. That way he's not going up and down, up and down. Everything's going up and down, up and down. We got some keyframes that are delayed. You'll see that with the head bob as well, which we're going to work on right now, actually. So we're going to make two keyframes just like the chest um, the position and the rotation. Boom, boom. We're going to make it in like the same. Uh, keyframe positions on the timeline that we did with this. Um, so, we'll, so the same thing. We started up, I think. Yes, we started up. So we're gonna go up, up a little bit. Not like, not like that. That's ridic That's ridiculous. And we're gonna go negative two. Nah, let's make it negative negative five. Let's let's super exaggerate this and make it five. And make this go down. Then we're gonna make some keyframes right here. Copy paste. Copy paste. Okay. So he's going up and down and up and down, and he's he's just his heads bobbing like nuts. And there we go. And that that is one way you can rig a. Um, <clears throat> a character uh, that you made an Illustrator or Photoshop or any type of um, designing program and uh, just animating them. So there's going to be another way we're going to do it. I'm going to re-import another one, but this time we're going to make it footage. Actually, Should we? No. So let's keep it composition. So this one, this one, is a little bit. Um, it's a, it's, it's, it's more tedious, but the result can come out fantastic. So we're gonna just work on the arm right now. <clears throat> we're gonna move that pivot point up, just like what we did before. Boom. And what, what we're gonna do is uh, add bones to this to this uh, this dude right here. So we're gonna go up here to the, uh, the the puppet pin tool. We're gonna click it and we're gonna make some bones. So we got the we got the shoulder bone, we got the elbow, and we got the wrist. Now we're going so there's three of them. If you press U they they normally always make keyframes that way you can easily find it. Um, we're gonna press V, which is move tool, and we're just gonna move it. So we're gonna move, swing it this way. Maybe maybe swing it swing it up. Maybe maybe we're gonna super exaggerate it. Here we go. I'm gonna swing it like we're gonna swing it way up, and then we're gonna swing it. Come on. Um, if that happens, I had two things selected, and when you have two things selected, it selects both of them. So what you can do is just click anywhere in the timeline. If you click, click here, you'll deselect it. But then when you click again onto the layer, you're like, where, where are all my my points? You actually have to click on the deform tool. Um, okay, so we got we're swinging it this way, we're swinging it this. Way. We don't want to break the arm going backwards. Um, actually. <laughs> 
it would look kind of funny if we do. Let's tr let's do it. So swinging. Uh, let's move it. Nah, it, it just looks ridiculous. Never mind. Never mind. All right, so we're swinging this way, and then we're swinging back. And the best part about this is, well, let's go ahead and just copy and copy and paste. So it's so it goes this way and it goes back. Uh, let's let's just go to this keyframe and extend it like that. We're gonna right click in Easy Ease, but this keyframe, uh, the wrist one, this might be a little too fast. Let me see. So the wrist, we're going to delay it. Uh, you can rename these. So we'll rename this one by pressing Enter and call it W R I S T. This one is elbow. No, is it? Yeah, elbow. Okay. <clears throat> so the wrist, which is this one, we can swing it. We're going to delay it, so we're going to uh, move all these keyframes like this. Swing. Swing. <laughs> so it's kind of like, he's kind of gummy. Um, let me bring this over here so it can repeat. So he's kind of, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, just because I uh, super exaggerated it, but of course, car cartoon characters don't need to be realistic, right? I mean, it can go nuts. Don't worry about it. No one's gonna judge. I'm not gonna judge, okay? <laughs> That's just so. F I I can't get enough of this. This is hilarious. Uh, I did this earlier today, um, but this is this is. This is hilarious. Um, okay, so with that said, you can do the same thing to the legs, the arms, the, the, the feet. Uh, I wouldn't do that to the head. It would look, look kind of weird. And um, attach it all to a knoll, or excuse me, attach it all to a knoll and um, just move them across the screen. Or you can make him like a wacky inflatable arm tube man, and he and just wave that arm like you just don't care. And um, same thing with the feet. You can go to the puppet tool. Let's make the uh, the hip, the knee, uh, the foot, and the toe. So let's make let's make this wacky just like what we just did. So the wonderful thing about this is you can actually uh, move the toe around compared to the the the, uh, the the last the previous way I did it. Uh, you can't; they're just they're stills. But this this can actually morph um, your dude. Uh, I want to. Press U so I can actually. Okay, so let's do this. Bring this up. Okay, so boom. All right, now I don't need. I don't need this. I can move it down again. Okay, so we're going up, up, and then we're going back. Oh, it's probably not going to look gummy because he's going forward and back but let's move hit let's move it up like this up like that I have all of them selected and we're gonna swing the toe up in the foot so he's actually stepping like so we're gonna make it super exaggerated of course like I said it's just a cartoon just a cartoon come on Did that do it copy paste all right we're gonna make these all easy eases and make them see it could be super wacky so you would make a in-between frame which is right here and what you would do is whoa 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 
I had the uh, brush tool selected for some reason. So the, the in-between frame, you would make that foot plant, which is right there, boom. So he's stepping, and then moving, and stepping. Copy, paste. I'm going to hit this. So I'm looking at the curves, and you notice the curves aren't up and down and up and down. It's it's up and down, and it's, it's, it's all wacky. Easing in uh, After Effects does that. So what you do to fix it is you right-click on all of them, and then you go back to easy ease and you notice it's nice and fluent right. stepping and then I think we need a frame right here yep that's what we needed yep Thing. All right, let's play this. So, with that said, you can make him. I'm gonna press tilde so it fills up the entire screen. Make him super wacky, and uh, make him a. Uh, you can make your very own inflatable, uh, inflatable arm tube man. Um, I'm actually going to sit down after this and make something hilarious. This, just this alone is funny. To me, um, probably not to you guys, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so that, those are the two ways you can rig and animate a character in After Effects. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will come out with another video next week. Uh, I tend to do these every Sunday, and have a great day.